soon as I start, Sesame gets up. What are you doing? <laughs> Here she is. Everyone loves you, Sesame. Everyone wants to give you a kiss and give you a pet and scoop you up and squeeze your tum. What do you think about that? What do you think about this? Yeah. Okay, do you want to go? As a Gen Xer, every time I hear the Down by the River song, I think of uh, <laughs> Chris Farley. <laughs> Down by the river. Are you going to stay there, Sass? Oh, balder speaking of baldering your gates, I need to... Uh... <laughs> Where's the old nudity... I don't want to get banned. Do I have the Twitch thing on? No. I think that's the plugin. Do you mean the plugin? You have to understand I put almost no effort whatsoever into these streams. And I intend to keep it that way. Thank you, BD Selma. Sesame, what are you doing? Crying? Nobody knows what you want. Nobody knows what you want. By the way, I don't remember in the early access version of the um, intro video, <laughs> did they have the Wilhelm scream in there like right away <laughs> when the when the um, when the chunks of the tower start falling in Baldur's Gate and like one guy Wilhelm screams. Nice. The Twitch integration, let's, how, what is, um, can you get a little bit of game volume? All right. I'm surprised. Normally this, uh, how's this? I'm doing something a little different this time. I'm not wearing my headset. just listening to it through my speakers. I did re-roll. I made a deep gnome character. I wasn't feeling it. I slept on it. And I was like, he's too goofy. Really wishing you had some real time with pause. Can't you play um, 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 Wrath of the Righteous? Sesame, you got to figure out what you want in life. Because I don't know. Sesame. What, 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 what is happening? You are crying, but no one knows what you want. Wing, 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 Everyone on stream is laughing with me. Yeah. Is that what you wanted? What do you think about this? What do you think about that? What do you think about this? Ooh. 
Do, 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 do. do you want to go down by the river? I need to start my stream, but if you're going around crying constantly, then I got to pay attention to you. Are you okay? No. If you go in your little bed, then I can show people where you hang out. You're gonna leave? Alright. Do I plan on multi-classing? I don't know. Sorcerer seems uh, pretty strong. I guess we'll see. I'm not. Pl I'm playing on normal difficulty, so we'll see. She doesn't lead me anywhere. Now you're just looking at the door. Mojito, by the way, somebody asked. Oh, for some reason, I didn't even know this was coming out on Mac. Nice. She's just sitting there. Uh, the rum is Clement. Um, rum Agricole, I think. Pretty sure that's it, come out. Why is Resolve the main staff for Paladins and Pillars? Do you mean mechanically or do you mean thematically? Bricklator. All right, what the hell was I doing? Beep, beep, beep. Check out my lady. I put um I put a hat on Shadow Heart with which broke her uh her bangs, her bangs hair and her ponytail. Motivation behind Half Elf. Um I don't know. I think I liked there was something about the bonus that I liked. Good vibes. Liked the aesthetics. I did just recruit a Starian. Light on my feet. What am I doing? They tell you to make your own spiced rum? Jesus Christ, man. There are so many spiced rums, just buy one. I don't know, like everybody, <laughs> everyone's always, you know, gotta make your own mixers and you gotta make your, like, no you don't. Dwarf guy, I don't know, I haven't found everybody yet. I think I still need to find, uh, what's her name, Lizale? The Geth Yankee guy. Down, down, down by the Illithid. What about this? Nice, nice. Whoops. Well. Can't afford to stay idle. I haven't tried it with a controller yet. Do we not have, um, it's been a while since I played any of this. Do we not have uh, tiny baby heels? Like boop, 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 boop. Or do I have to actually spend to cure wounds? Healing. Mm 
Oh, just short rest. We're going to short rest by the river. Infinite cantrip, so no cure minor wounds. Boo! I can, sir. What alignment am I going to be? I don't know. Probably goodish. Crushed spike trap. Like, when you say crushed, do you mean it's not working? What am I looking at here? Oh. Did I miss, uh, did I miss Lazale? Is she, or is that her name, Lazale? Is she down here? She's up, okay. I hear shouting up ahead. We should check it out, but be careful. Nice. Come on over here. I'm just going to explore. Oh, well. Mm. Hello? Gets in. Zevlor's orders. That pack of goblins will be on us any second. What's going on? Goblins are on our tail. Thank Open you, Doctor Trouble. Zevlor, now you let goblins here. Where is the druid? Please, there's no time. Calm down, dude. My performance seems to be kind of not awesome for some reason. Over the gates. Probably because I'm screaming. <clears throat> yeah. Rip to that guy, yeah. Damnable roach. Nice. Provoke the blade. And suffer it stay. Damn, dude. You telling me a will fried this rice? I'm sure I'm fried rice. Let's see how this, let's see how we're doing here. By the way, I haven't played that much of this, so I'll probably be noobish. Why is it difficult? That's difficult. Okay. Am I going crazy? Why is there is grease? Why is it saying grease? Did someone cast grease on? Oh, they hit me with grease. Did I miss that? I guess I missed it. All right. Well, here we go. Sweet. Um, what do we got here? Probably not going to be able to. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Maybe I better get out of this. You better get out of the spicy grease ball. Try jumping out of the grease. All right. Do I? I'm done though, right? I'm done. Time to get burned up. Time to get fucking roasted.
Oh, that's right. He's a rogue. I should have bonus action. Ah, no, 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 no. Nice. You gotta love a big horn. You gotta. Damn, dude. Oh, shit. Bugbears. Who are you again? Who is this? Who are you? A goblin tracker? All right, I think I'm gonna fly out of this shit. And first I'm gonna magic missile this fucker. I don't want to flee from combat. I want to... What? I want to zoom away. Here we go. I can just leave. I'm flying! Oh, okay. What? Why would I not have just flown there? That's weird. That seemed weird to me. <laughs> I don't know why she walked... Bro, I can fly. <laughs> I believe I can fly. I believe I can goblin the sky. They automatically walk close enough to reach your flying distance. Okay. I believe Shadow Heart can fly. Jumping. Should jump out. Sweet. Do I have the range to actually hit? Oh, she doesn't have a range weapon! <laughs> Just fireball? Oh, okay. <laughs> Goblin boss Goblin boss Holy moly. <laughs> Guy's got a lot of HPs. What the hell? Like a pretty GG. Where did this fucker come from? What do we got? We got a regular ass range attack. We got a firebolt. How many HPs do you got there? Seven. Hmm. I feel like maybe I should just shoot. Should I just shoot or should I bother actually getting up to this dude? This lady.
we got the, uh, where we got the, so. Shooting does seem easier, but I'm low ground, and I think that's, do I have disadvantage where I'm low ground? Or is it just a penalty? Why'd you get a content warning? Because I don't know, there's dongs and titties flying around. Um, I don't know what's in this game. I don't want to get banned. Oh yeah, I could fly there. I don't know. I'm just going to shoot him. Die. 55% is not very good though. <laughs> but good enough for my boy. <laughs> Sweet. Nice. Um, I've been known to save scum. I, I don't generally do it on stream because um, it's annoying to players. <laughs> down, down, down by the bugbear. Damn. Well, I'll move up a smidge. I'll move up a skosh. Maybe that was a bad idea. Oh well. I have to keep fighting. Doing okay. <laughs> I got fire bolts. I got sacred flames. I got. Nine Fentron. Melee. Got to press Go for it, Shadowheart. I believe in you. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's some good shit. Inflict wounds, baby. <laughs> Did he not? It's weird. Did he not? Uh. Ouch. Damn, dude. Well, let's see here. I don't have advantage against you. Why do I have disadvantage? Target is too close for a melee attack. Well, okay. What? Did I actually attack? I misclicked? On the ground? Let me just say don't see why that would I would ever want to do that. <clears throat> I've seen that a few times. Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to do that with a regular weapon attack? <laughs> like, why? <laughs> Great. All right. Oh. 
<laughs> Kiansor says, sometimes when your weapon is imbued, you can do stuff like light oil on fire. Okay, that's great, but that's not the case. And also... <laughs> I think there's a very fair case to be made in design that supporting the edge case should not come at the expense of the standard case. When the standard case becomes difficult and cumbersome to support the edge case, it's usually not a great <laughs> thing. I'm not bagging on the game. I do think that clicking on open ground with a regular ass weapon, generally speaking, is not a thing you want to do. <laughs> not a thing that a player wants to do. And I think that can be contextualized. So this dude is wounded. I think I'm just gonna, do I got a little, I think I can do it. Nope, blew it. Well, all right. So we still got this bugbear. Yeah, a few are you sure prompts. Like there are occasions where maybe you do want to do that, but it's like, what is the frequency? What is the frequency or rather? Yeah, how common is it when a player clicks on the ground with an attack that they actually want to attack the ground? It's not never, right? Talented eagle. <laughs> uh, what are my thoughts on the game not being real time with pause? It's fine. I like turn based. Like, I prefer turn based to real time with pause, personally. Um, like, I think that overall, this is a really nice way to do turn based. So I don't, I don't, I don't mind that it's not real time with pause. I also know that um, just in the past, Larian seems to design their combat counters. Like I know that I've worked on games that have a lot of uh, trash mobs and trash encounters. And um, uh, the combats here are less trashy overall. <laughs> They're a little more structured and intentional. So. So yeah, like I don't mind that turn-based is slower paced. That's I don't care as long as it's enjoyable and uh, interesting to me. And I think that the frequency of combats and the way combats are structured, it's it's fine. Fifty percent. So if I do, yeah, let me just, uh, let me just, wait, 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 wait. I'm glad you like turn-based dead fire. Although I do wish we could have had more time to make the action economy work a little bit better. And also the encounters weren't designed for that. So sometimes you get like really, really, really big um, fights that are kind of more meant to be trash mobby fights and in real time with like a lot of the ship to ship fights. And uh, it's rough. Turn-based and dead fire in certain battles is just really rough. I, let me, let me, let me do this again. This to me, baby. That is pretty crazy. Uh, are we done here? Did we? Oh, no, we still got that fucker. Okay.
Okay, can we actually maybe do something here? Do I have disadvantage if I do this? Why Deadfire had not even a fraction of the mainstream appeal BG3 is having? It's not it's not Baldur's Gate, for one thing. It's not Forgotten Realms. It's not D&D. It's a much smaller game. Um, maybe it's just not as good of a game either. Like, that's also possible. Um, the marketing was not super strong for Deadfire. I think that there's much better marketing for BG3. But also there's just a much higher level of production polish for BG3. The production quality on this is crazy. Like, this is super high. I'm not saying compared to, like, Last of Us 2. I'm saying for, like, a party-based fantasy RPG, PC-focused. I know there's lots of caveats there, but, like, yeah, this feels like a AAA game. Like, this has tons and tons of polish. Um, and I would never I would never say that Deadfire is a AAA game, so... You know what? I, I am having some issues here. I'm having color issues. Can I change um, indicators? Indicator colors? Like, I'm having trouble reading, like, the enemy circles and... There's no colorblind mode. I can't. Dude. I really can't change selection circle color. That's can't be real. That can't be true. Really? Dude. That is rough. That is really hard. That is really, really rough. That can't be right. Man. Is it in, where is it? Highlight circles? The Megan Fox marketing. Gameplay user options. It seems like it's an accessibility thing, right? Wait, 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 where, where, where are you? Where? Turn-based highlights, circle. Circle, highlight, circle, and highlights. Okay. That's bad, man. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. I'm not... Look, I know I'm sounding like a hater right now. This game is really good. Writing is good. Production value is good. Implementation rules is great. Integration of skills and things into dialogue is great. This is suck, man. <laughs> like, I need something where I can change the highlights. This is really hard for me. This is very difficult. Sorry, I don't mean to be overly critical. This is, I know everyone thinks I'm a salty baby, but this is genuinely hard. Anyway. Dude. Rip to those who died. Uh, yeah, this it's the circle and the color of the highlight. This is really, um, this is just, it's really difficult for me to see against the green. I can see the blood puddle. That's so with the blood puddle, that's very um 
Um, let me just kind of... So the, the thing is, I can see all this blood. That's really easy. And the thing is, it's because the, the value, which is the, to say the darkness, the value is the range of uh, dark and light. Sorry if I'm over explaining. But the um, darkness of the blood puddle is very low. Um, or I'm sorry, it's, it's very dark. So it stands out really easily. Font larger? Um, yeah, I guess, uh, hold on, let me... Dialogue text size, overhead text size. I'll try that. That's cool that it previews it. O to go to tactical view. Um, yeah, I mean, that helps a little bit. I don't know. All right, sorry I've been John too long. Can I? Akidem. We did it. That was the last of them. Inside, all of you, more may follow. I thought Open the gate. there was an owl there. Good. Damn. All right, folks. They were tenacious. I wonder what they wanted here, other than bloodshed. Is Larian Obsidian's closest competitor? Um, I don't think we're going to make games like this in the immediate future. Um, so I don't even know. I mean, you could say role-playing games, sure. But, like, I don't think we're going to make games like this. At the ready. For a while, at least. So I don't think any of the NPCs died. Fentron, don't know if anyone will try to compete with BG3, but I guess if anybody does, it might be an Xbox studio. I don't know. I mean, I don't think I could make a pitch to... It would be hard for me specifically, I think, um, because Deadfire did so much worse commercially. No props, please. Like, critically, it did pretty well, but commercially, it did so much worse. Give me the goodies. Has anyone, um, has anyone played, uh, this on, this is on console too, right? Um, Jangus can apply a colorblind filter using in-game GeForce experience overlay key toggle thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I could do that. Oh, okay, for a month, okay. Fair. Was it in early access on console? Is this good for beginners? I think so. Official Mark Fisher Vivo said, is this good for beginners? I'm going to. So I would say that if you're not opposed to a little bit of number crunching, conceptually, this is probably your best introduction to a, tr a true D&D &D game. I, I hate saying that because like, what's, what's true? There is no true D&D. &D. But um, fifth edition is a pretty forgiving um, system. The mechanics are, they're just simpler and less crunchy than in previous editions. It's harder to really truly like botch a character um, especially I think if you play on, is it explorer mode? Is that what it's called? If you play in the lowest level of difficulty, I think it would be totally fine. So I think the production values on this are good. I do have some interface issues with it. I do think the camera, I've said this before, 
I don't really like the rotating camera. I've never liked it. Uh, that's, that is my maximum hater mode thing. I just fundamentally don't like it. Um, but if you're okay with that stuff, then yes, I think this would be a great introduction if you want to come into it and just start off in the lowest level of difficulty because you can change it later if you want. Like, I think this would be, this would be a great place to start. So yeah. Down, down, down by the river. You know, the thing is, like, as much as... Thank you, Chairman Kaga. So here's the thing. Yeah, I spin the camera because I need to spin the camera, not because I want to spin the camera. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, so how to explain this? Um, when in a uh, in an isometric game, there's a burden on the designers and the environment artists to make the layout of the level work with the camera because you can't rotate it. So you know what the camera angle is. You kind of know more or less what the camera can see because it's iso it's isometric. Even if it's not truly isometric, you, you know what that angle is. And so when you lay things out and you set up encounters and you place things, you do it relative to... Um, you do that relative to that camera. And when a camera can rotate and change pitch, um, you, as a designer, you can't do that because you don't actually know where the player's camera is at any given point in time. Arguably, after a cutscene, you could reset the camera, but very quickly, that camera can get rotated. Um, it can get zoomed in. It can get zoomed out. And because of that, you... Um, you can't really design for a camera because there is no single camera to design for. And so what that means is that when you get into a circumstance like this, you need to use the camera because it's necessary to see things <laughs> because you like there's the, does that make sense? I, I don't know if that's making sense, but it's required. And I don't personally find it fun or interesting to rotate the camera. Um, Oh, is audio desynced? Hold on, I'll reset it. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Isn't single cam puts constraints on the level design? It does. It does, but like, that's that's part. I mean, there are always restrictions in design, right? So as long as those constraints are known ahead of time, they can't be imposed post hoc. Um, but yeah. Anywho, that's just me. That's my thing. Would I recommend playing a non-magic class first for someone new to D&D or a melee class is just as complicated? I think the thing is, I feel like the complication tends to come later. Also, you can swap out cameras. I'm sorry, not swap out cameras. I'm obsessed with cameras. You can swap out spells when you level up. So if you start with a spell and you're like, actually, this fucking sucks. Um, when you level up, you can just, I think that's for all classes. You can just get rid of it. Do I think that having pre-rendered backgrounds instead of fully 3D space that can be nav navigated would immensely reduce production cost? I don't know. Um, I do know that it's actually, it is not cheap to make in uh, dead fire levels. <laughs> it is not cheap. It is quite expensive and difficult. Um, and you can, you're right. Oh, so six has play said you can respect to any class for a hundred gold. So um Different classes engage differently with spell changing. Interesting, I didn't know that. By the way, so I did play this in early access, but only for a few hours. So this is this is as far as I've gotten in the game. I'm by far not an expert in this, and 
although I've played a fair amount of fifth ed, I wouldn't even say, um, I wouldn't even say I'm like a fifth ed expert or anything. So I'm sure other people in the chat are far more knowledgeable than I am. How many hours in, like into the actual gameplay, like three, maybe? Wait, 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 up, 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 up. gotta get this guy. Was that a crime? Because I'm robbing, robbing the dead. Have I ever visited Estonia? I have not visited Estonia. I have not. Um, chest icon was red. OLED? It is, it is a big game, but like, it's also a big game. Some of the loot is incorrectly flagged. If the icon is red, it's a crime. Okay. Oh, can't be legally culpable if you can't see the icon. Thank you. Have I ever tried stealing the Disco Elysium IP? No, I have not. I have not vis visited Kazakhstan, no. Do you think I should go down by the river? Let me, I didn't go around this little bend. Okay, here we go. Is that blood? No, never mind. Have I visited Lawrence, Kansas? No. <laughs> um, I'm not going to go to Gamescom this year. I don't actually have... Um, I don't have a game to promote or anything, so... I mean, I love going to Germany, but no, not this year. Maybe... it. it although I say that, and then every year there's some last-minute thing where someone's like, go to Gamescom. So, but no, there's not currently any plan to go. What penis option did I choose? I picked Vulva B for this character. I have not visited Bomberg. Um, my uh, Twitch stream, the VODs are always uploaded afterwards. I do really like this map. This is, I really like how they do the maps. I do, I kind of wish maybe this border outline were a little more uh, defined. Uh, just because sometimes I'm not quite sure if I'm in a walkable area or not, or I'm skipping it, you know what I'm saying? Let me let me do another, let me do a short rest here. Well, some rests better than none. I did. Where where do I where do I find Miss Where do I find Miss L Lazel? Yeah, I did understand that that's fast travel. Masmeno, did you come to Gamescom and play? Did you were were you playing at the demo booth? It's not tactician. It's um, regular normal shit. To the southeast. All right, so. Southeast? Oh, so I got to go down here and then go over? Okay. Well, let's see if I can do that. Oh, cool. All right, I'll go find the rest of my, my dudes. Erlangen and Nuremberg. I feel bad saying this, but I've actually never made it to Nuremberg. Um, I've always like, whenever I've been somewhat in the proximity of Franconia, <laughs> there's always like something else to do or time runs out and I can't visit it. I've not tried playing with the controller. Oh, hello. Oh no. Yellow as a toad. Twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. 
Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, Oops, me. how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Uh, what did I think of France? It was great. Um, I don't speak that much French. So in, in I always tell the story like in Paris, I would speak a little bit of French and then people would switch over to English because my French is pretty poor. And then I got to Orléans and then um, uh, then the level of English fluency went pretty far down <laughs> and it was hard. And then I went to Carcassonne and in Carcassonne, um, it was very rough, but I actually got to use more Spanish because I, I know more Spanish than French in Carcassonne. But I, lo I love French, or, or I love, sorry, I, lo I do love French, but I loved, uh, I love France. I was really bummed last year. I didn't get to go. I was supposed to go for Paris Games Week, and then I had an emergency and I couldn't. So it was a bummer. Um, flops, Flopsy Doodle. Uh, I did not live in Germany. I visited Germany a lot. Um, I've studied German a lot. And yeah, so I studied it for school and then I continued studying after I graduated from college. So, uh, still hate Colo. Do I speak other languages fluently? No, I, well, I mean, German, I speak German fluently, not, not natively, but I speak it fluently. And then I speak a little bit of French and I speak more Spanish. That's about it. So, but I'm not any, I'd like my French is very, very basic. Good night, Digitale. Would I prefer WASD movement in this type of game instead of click to move only available with controller weirdly? I don't think that's weird. I think that makes sense though. Yeah, I mean, like I, I would say uh, maybe my proficiency with reading Latin is comparable to Spanish, but I Latin is not really a spoken language. I mean, like, I know there are people where that's their whole thing and they speak Latin. And it's, it's cool and I respect it, but like conversational Latin is not a thing. <laughs> so, so, uh, yeah, like I, I can read Latin reasonably well, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't describe it as a language I have fluency in. Um, yeah. WASD is here for camera. So the thing is though, like with a controller, I mean, right. Like, the fact that you have two analog inputs means that you can have you can have something for camera and you can have something for movement. You can you can change direction and you can change with an analog input. You can change um, speed if you want to. So um, that's why I think it makes sense on console why you can have camera and character movement, especially when you're just, con you're mainly controlling just that one character and everyone follows you. And so that, that makes sense to me, so. Didn't Neverwinter Nights 2 have WASD movement? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I came on at the end of that game, so there's a lot of stuff I don't remember, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Actually, that was a funny story. Sorry. La Mache du funniest France story. Asked a guy, vous parlez anglais? And he answered, no. Tried speaking to him in my three years of high school French for about a minute before he stopped me and said, fine, I speak English. I do think that usually, um, as long as you start off in, in French and maybe the first thing you say is not parlez-vous en anglais, then they're a little more receptive to speaking English. <laughs> but yeah, all they need is to hear you try to mangle their language and they're like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> the Berliner Tex-Mex, it was beyond description. It was really, really bad. All right, let me, let me do this conversation. Um, ladies, I'll get rid of them. Let me try, so I'm a sorcerer. So I'm gonna, I should have advantage on this stuff. 
Frenchman said he doesn't speak English. I tried very basic French and he started speaking English. <laughs> Berlin burrito. Man, that Tex-Mex. I'm not kidding. That is like the worst food I've had in so long. It was so much worse than I thought it was going to be. Fuck, man. <laughs> like, it was bad. All right, deception. This creature is dangerous. Get out of here. Leave it to me. Tried speaking Russian to a baggage handler in Moscow. She raised a hand and replied, please stop. It is okay. I speak English. All right, here we go. Deception proficiency and charisma. Let's go, baby. French tacos? No. Oh, guidance. Oh, no. I did it. She's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. Guidance forgot. A blast? You say there was a blast? You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. See you later, Infinitron. Berlin has loads of great Vietnamese food, though. Lots of Vietnamese due to some type of socialist solidarity immigration. All right, now I'm really telling a story here. All right, so I found this out recently. I love Berlin. I've been to Berlin several times, and I was reading about the history of Berlin, and uh, either during or toward the end of the Vietnam War, because, in part, East Berlin was suffering um, from mass, well, you know, as much as could be mass exodus, people fleeing the country. Uh, there were Vietnamese who came to East Germany specifically uh, to work in the labor force, which I think is really fascinating. But yeah, it was a, like, communist solidarity thing. And, and I don't know what the long-term legacy of that is, but yeah, like a lot of Vietnamese came to East Germany, specifically Berlin, and uh, lived there during the 70s, which I think is really a fascinating thing. Very cool. this camp I'm, I'm done wait 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 ba, 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 ba. there we go we got guidance Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. <laughs> and be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Full-scale Vietnamese enclaves markets in Berlin. Down. My last trip there was really great. Gonna get her down. Gotta get her done. Observe and listen. You'll hear Loblin's voice. Questionable intellect. Unsurprising. Release me, or enjoy a future as Geich. What'd you call me? Okay. Is there a, uh, what am I missing? Is there a lever or something? Cool. Shoot the bottom of the cage. Okay. <laughs> all right, there we go. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. 
I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. East Germany was also heavily invested into Vietnamese coffee production in the 80s. Interesting. Oh. Man, my back has been... It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augusto for purification. I don't know what the sinking issues are here, but let me, um... Maybe that fixed it? I did a refresh. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. I'll trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You have a sharp tongue, elf. MTK Games Live. I feel the conversation animations are a bit weird overall, a bit Her awkward sometimes, elf. not taking away too much, though. The I think they're pretty good. I mean, like, I know like that the I know that the Come. scope of the, the game is huge. Camp. Like, Zoru has seen what did they say? Yankee. Like, there's a crash must something be like we will ask this Zoru where 17 or 170? I can't remember. There's the, the, the sheer time of cinematic conversations in the game 174 that's fucking crazy so why is there still desync i did i just did a refresh on this that's weird And I think the thing is, the if it's just choppy, it's just choppy. Like, I can't, other than getting, like, a 40 series card. They had to do mocap through the pandemic. Think of how big an IMAX reel that would be. Um, Twitch is acting up. Um, but, yeah, like, the, char the character models, the faces are really good. Like, really, really good. The hair is really nice. Um, huge variety. The lighting is fantastic. I think the lighting, especially for all the conversations, the lighting like does so much heavy lifting. And I don't like I, I just I don't think that the facial animations are I wouldn't even say bad. Like, are they the best fucking things you've ever seen? No, but like, again, the scope of this is huge. So I don't know. I think it's I think it's pretty darn good. Anyway. Uh rip. Uh-oh. Sorry folks, it crashed. <laughs> Um, sending a report. I went to level up. Um, diversity in body shapes for player characters. I think that you either have two or four options. My GPU is a 3080. It's a GeForce 3080. Does BG3 have full VO? Your player character doesn't say every line. Um, but otherwise, I believe everything is voiced and all of your um, examinations and things are voiced. All right, I'm going to restart. OK, 
can try launching the game with Vulcan instead of DX11 if you want to try it. Frame rate is better for you doing that. Interesting. Because I thought that um, I thought that DX11 was supposed to be better for GeForce cards. Is that not true? I think I'm an exclusive full screen. What's going on here? I'm, um, it's not loading. Just a second. Hold on. Sorry, I don't... I'm having an issue here. What's going on? Huh. It's not loading for me. Oh, hold on. It's, is it downloading a patch maybe? I think it's cloud. It doesn't, it's not cloud sync. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I'm having some, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm restarting Steam. Uh, I looked at Task Manager and it was not running the old session. Thank you, though. Um, am I actually up to date here? They're patching. That would be amazing. Okay, now so it's downloading content. Okay, so. It is downloading something. It looks like it's going a little slow. I'm gonna keep the stream up, but I'm gonna go make a drink and get a little snack. I'll be back in like five or 10 minutes, okay? I'll be right back.
All right. I'm going to try Vulcan. Why not? Let's find out. Okay. It's a regular cheese stick. I just like cheese sticks. I'm eating hot glue, you know. Uh oh, I think I have to re add the game. Why is it not showing up? Oh, because it's direct to um, <laughs> Vulcan. Vulcan. All right. Any obscure RPGs that are more experimental you'd recommend? Lisa the Painful. <laughs> I watched Audrey play it and it was crazy. <laughs> Hmm. Well, all right, so far the f getting a few drops, but it at least looks comparable. I mean, I do know how to check. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no, it crashed. That's right. <gasps> well. Oh yeah, why don't I go? Yeah, why didn't I get an autosave when I got uh 
the lady back. Yeah, I'm just gonna go get her. <laughs> oh man. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Zoru was right. Yellow is a toad and twice as ugly. The things and if it's your skull, get rid of them. Um uh... Did the persuasion option go away? What? What is going on? No, the persuasion option appeared, dude. <laughs> Come on, man. All right, if it crashes again, then I'll probably just stop for the day. I do have it on an SSD. I have the latest drivers. What? Hold on. What's going on? Okay, so it didn't... Cr Wait, no, it did crash. I'm going to try... I'll do verification. Okay. All right. Now, I have like a fan fan. I thought that... I hope it's not too loud. Um, I have NVIDIA broadcast. It filters out most of the noise. All right, we're going to try one more time. Downloading content. Okay. Come on, man. Everyone. <laughs> second. <laughs> what do you think about that? What do you think about that? You know, you like this setup? There's Coco. El Perro. <laughs> yeah, so it's saying it's downloading con it says content. Downloading content. What are you doing, little guy? Getting crashes. Yeah, I think there's um I think there's another um I think there's another video coming in the documentary series. All right, hold on just a second.
Sorry about that. Um, vintage bike, yeah, it's a 1970 Raleigh International. The wheel has been pretty badly damaged for a while. I just fixed it, but um, I need to true the wheel, so. Sixty five percent. All right. Do I have any modern bikes? Yeah, I mean, more or less. I have um, I have a 2010 Milwaukee road bike, which I just crashed last weekend. So I haven't been able to ride all week because my leg has been fucked up. Um, I need to true that wheel too. the front wheel. I slammed into a wall. Uh, but that has a, an Athena 11 Campagnolo group set on it. And then I have, I do have a gravel bike. It's, um, geez, I want to say it's like a 2014 or something crust, um, Romanceur, ultra romance bike. And I have 26 inch wheels on that with, um, a really small double in the front. It's like a 36, 22, and then a nine-speed cassette in the back. Um, and then I have uh, about a 2012 Breadwinner. Breadwinner is a company from Portland, formerly of Ira Ryan and uh, Tony Pereira. Now it's just Tony Pereira as of a few months ago. And that's a touring bike uh, with cantilever brakes. Um, and then I guess technically the frame I built, I built a frame in 2015 at UBI in Portland, and then I built it up, um, a mix of Zona and Nova tubes, and I built it up as a Rand News, and that has a Rene Erse 4630 front crank, and then a 10 speed in the rear fenders and all that stuff, so... Did you Infinitron? Thank you. I had like, there was a picture on that Wikipedia page of, from like 2001 or something. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try DirectX again. More of a mountain biker. I still am not into mountain biking. Someday I will be, but. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Favorite books, Name of the Rose. If you've played Pentiment, it's a good compliment, in my opinion. Um, what are you doing, Larian? I already did all this stuff. The ending of the original movie version of Name of the Rose? I don't, like, I think it's good. I get why purists are mad about it, but I, I think that the movie version of Name of the Rose yeah, it's not the same as the book, but I think it's a great ending. I think it like works really well within the framework of the film. I liked it. That's awesome, Shrek 4. Okay. You know, I'm one... So the thing I'm wondering, maybe I'm presuming... The whole quasi-Marxist peasant uprising at the end was kind of gratuitous, kind of stereotypical of European cinema at the time. 
I disagree. I mean, I'm not saying it's not stereotypical of European cinema at the time, but like peasants fucking hated people, <laughs> like hated nobles. Like they attacked nobles a lot. I'm not, okay, maybe that's an exaggeration, but like peasants would fuck up nobles. Like they would do it and um, they would fuck up executioners. There are stories about like, you know, like when the, um, the Bonrichter, um, God, who is it? I can't remember his name in the game, but in Pentiment, the little buddy of um, Jakob Estler, the bo- he's essentially serving as what's called the Bonrichter, and he's overseeing the execution. And he says, basically, like, I guarantee this executioner all safe conduct because people would get riled when those executioners would do their shit. Um, and they would they would attack the executioner. They would attack guards. Um, so I don't necessarily, like... I don't feel like it was a Marxist thing. I think they were just really fucking mad. <laughs> I think they were just mad. I do think that the way pe- peasants were characterized in the film of the name of the Rose, especially is on, un- it kind of sucks because they're in the book. It's from Odso's point of view and Odso literally doesn't understand them, but in the film they're just, um, like they're just kind of dummies, right? Or like they they really don't have any voice whatsoever. They just kind of get wild. Um, Gliza fifty eight I yes, the faithful executioner. It's the faithful executioner, and it was a source of inspiration for uh, Pentiment. Homewood dead. Can't set a designated talking character? Okay. Oh, it's because I have... Oh, I had Shadowheart selected. Can't slow down. Open the bloody gate! Uh, what? No, god damn it! I got turned around. Fuck. <laughs> Another reason I don't like this camera. <laughs> It's really easy to get disoriented. Come on, man. Name of the Rose novel specifically drawing on the radical anti-wealth movements right before then. Yes. I think the game is very good so far. Um, Miller's got brat bad press in. Okay, so I need to. I was okay. Miller's got brat bad press in medieval society because they had a lot of power over the peasants, and they would abuse that power a lot. Like, very classic story. And they weren't so far removed from society that they were kind of in some remote thing, like a lord in his castle. Like, they lived pretty close to where other people lived. Um, so people were just like, I fucking hate that guy. Zoru was right. Did I have the right character selected? Twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. And if it is your skull, get rid of it. No! <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know why it's defaulting to Shadowheart anyway. <laughs> like, why is it? I don't know why it has her selected. I don't think I had her selected when the autosave was made. Can't give up now. What to do? Me, right? Okay, my character, very good. What path lies before me? Okay, that's not where I want to go. Of course it's dangerous. 
Zoru was right. Yellow is a toad, and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. And if it is... Your skull pounds in response to the right. prisoner's white hot stare. Oh, there is a button. Okay. Move. Yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. All right, here we go. Persuasion. <laughs> Sorry, like I said, I didn't play this that much in early access, so there are pro tips that I don't know. Watch me fucking botch this shit. All right. Give me that guidance. go. Is this tonally consistent with the OG Baldur's Gate games? Um, I think it's a hard question to answer because Baldur's Gate 1, Baldur's Gate 1 was all over the place, in my opinion. Um, Baldur's Gate 2 had more tonal consistency, but it's been a long time since I've played BG2. Um, She's right. Danaise. Enough. You've but one chance. Join me or die. <laughs> All right, let's attack the tieflings. No! You lying rat! Wow, damn, I just got fucking smacked. Did I also get to what's going on here? Hamstrung? Gee whiz, want that to, yeah, hold on. Once again, for some reason I thought that was my previous thing. We're doing it again. We're doing it again. Enjoy seeing me do this for the fifth time. For some reason, I thought persuasion is what I picked the last time, but I guess not. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Oh, that's right. I did persuasion after the deception. Oh, that's right. You think it's dangerous? Of course it's dangerous. Zoru was right. Yellow is a toad and twice as... How do I feel about Minsk? The thing's dangerous. <laughs> Leave it for the goblins you know, to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... It's been... Oh. A long time. A guest. Your and so I feel like I can say this and people won't get that mad at me. White, hot stare. I really her lips don't move. Really hate Minsk. Yet you hear her voice. I can't stand Just that character down. at all. Didn't like him in the first game. Never ever ever liked the character. Don't like him. Do not like Minsk at all. Way too goofy for me. Sorry. Don't like the character. There are plenty of there are plenty of other BG characters I do like, but that guy was just too too much goof. All right. Here we go. Nice. You liked him, but you were 16 at the time. That's okay. It's okay if you like him now. I just, I don't, <laughs> don't like the character. She's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Persuasion. I need to persuade you. It doesn't matter. I'm just so good at this.
Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nice. Nymessa, come. Enough gawking. Get me down. Never. <laughs> Observe, listen. You'll hear goblins before you see them. Get me down. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. This is just full But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. It is many things. Githyanki protocol is clear. When you have made an ally from... I'll trust your judgment. But I... You have a sharp tongue, elf. Half elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Silver Come. shroud over the top dialogue. The Hormons mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. Yeah, did you hear in Kalid are very unusual? We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. I, g I gave Shadowheart the hat. All right, hold on. We're saving. Oh, yeah, you're right. You met Montaron and Zar first. They're really goofy. Those guys are truly goofy. All right, we're going to try to level her up. Here we go. Folks, uh, <laughs> well, I think we're done for the day, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> I, 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 something's wrong. Something's wrong with leveling up. Um, Lazel. So, uh, I've run Vulcan, I've run DX11, but. Call Sven. Yeah, I have him on speed dial. Um, yeah, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, I'll just wait for a patch and I'll try again later. Uh, sorry that it <laughs> didn't get any farther. Uh, yeah, but otherwise, have a good weekend. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.